Good morning everyone! I am Manarji Agar, your teacher in music. Now, before we start everything, let's all stand up and have our own prayer. So, kanya-kanyang prayer muna tayo, okay? Now, silence please! Are we all done? Now, before you take your seat, please pick up some piece of paper and di align lang natin yung mga chairs. Okay, very good. Now, I can see in your faces na you don't have the energy pa to start the day. And with that, I prepared some activity. It's like a, um, an energizer and at the same time, magkakaroon kayo ng idea sa kung ano yung magiging topic natin for today. So, game kayo? Okay, let's start. Now, this game is about four picks and one word. You had the idea na? Yes. I will flash some pictures and with that, Puhulaan nyo kung ano yung mga tinutukoy ng mga pictures na yun. Okay, let's start. First is... Okay, we have chili paste. May mga gong. I think this is a tourist spot. And women that wears traditional dress. Anong bansa kaya to? Yes, Mr. Paolo? Very good. This is Indonesia. Now, next. Okay, another woman that wear traditional dresses. We had, I think this is Pad Thai. And, oh, what flag is this? What country? Yes, Miss Sheila. Very good. This is Thailand. And last. Oh, Mr. Jacob. Yes, our very own country, the Philippines. Now, I think you have the energy now. So, what do you think our topic is about? Asia, uh-huh. Cultures of some countries, mm -hmm. Oh, background history of music. Pwede, pwede. Now, in that activity, itong mga countries na to, tingin nyo, saan sila nabibilong? Asia. Yes, Asia. Um, saan specifically sa Asia? Yes, Paolo. Very good. Southeast Asia. So, ito yung mga countries na nabibilong sa Southeast Asia. And since ang subject natin is about music, we will get to know some of their musics in Southeast Asia. So, excited na kayo? Okay, let's start. Folk songs from Southeast Asia. Now, Southeast Asia is famous for being one of the best places to visit. It is also one of the world's most popular tourist destinations for it has tropical countries, it has rich cultures, gorgeous beaches, and traditional foods that gives one to a lot of people. Yes, yeah, Southeast Asia is known for being one of the most beautiful places nga daw. Um, Southeast Asia has a lot of countries that has famous tourist spots. Kilala din ang Southeast Asia sa pagkakaroon ng mga tropical countries. When we say tropical countries, um, ito yung mga country na nakakaranas na ng dalawang seasons. Either rainy or sunny season. Di ka guys, sa ibang bansa na nakakaranas sila ng apat na season. Now, kilala din ang Southeast Asia sa pagkakaroon ng magagandang beaches. ba Dito pa lang sa Pilipinas. Diba? Mag marami tayong magagandang beaches. Just like the famous Boracay. Diba? So, Southeast Asia uh, is kilala din sa pagkakaroon ng mga masasarap na traditional foods. But they don't know na ang Southeast Asia is also known for being, um, for being having a good music. And with that, aalamin natin ang ilan sa mga kanta sa Southeast Asia, specifically yung mga folk songs nila. Ilan sa mga folk songs nila. Now, any idea of what is folk song? Ano, yung, ano nga ba ang folk song? Anong meaning ng folk song? Yes, Mr. Jacob? Yes. Very good. Um, any idea? Miss Sheila. Yes. Very good. Yes. Now, folk song is a type of music originating among the people of a country or area passed by oral tradition from one singer or generation to the next. Yes, ang folk song is ito yung mga kanta na parang nagre-represent sa mga lugar ng mga tao. Kanya-kanya nilang lugar. And napapasa siya generation to generation. And since yung mga folk song ay pinapasa nga daw, there's a big possibility na yung mga kantang yun 
ay mabawasan or madagdagan. So, po pwede magkaroon ng changes or pagbabago sa mga kantang yun. And hindi nyo ba napansin na typical sa mga folk song eh, meron silang same melody and same na lyrics. So, parang paulit-ulit lang siya. And with that, iniisip ng mga tao na ang mga folk song ay kantang pambata lang or mga kantang, yes, mga nursery, rhyme, mga nursery rhymes lang. But they don't know na ang mga folk song pala ay may mga tinatagong deep meaning or messages. One example of folk song in Southeast Asia is si Patokaan from Indonesia. Now, let's listen first to si Patokaan. It's an upbeat song, right? But, si Patokaan is a famous pop song that presents the expression of love and concern of a mother to her child who had grown up and had been obliged to earn their own living. So, although upbeat siya, yun nga, may tinatago siyang malalim na meaning. Now, there's a lot of interpretation sa kantang si Patokaan. Um, some of them said that it is a farewell song. Kantang pamamaalam. So, kinakanta nila ito sa mga taong lalayo or pupunta sa malayo. And another one is the Rasasayang from Malaysia. Let's listen first to Rasasayang, okay? Now, Rasa Sayang, this song is also famous in the country of Indonesia. Yes, kinakanta rin to ng mga Indonesian people. The song conveyed the message of love, playfulness, and joviality. The basis of Rasa Sayang takes its form from the pantun, a traditional poetic form. The praise Rasa Sayang indicates the act of feeling love or affection and the feeling of love itself. Rasa Sayang and Si Patokaan are some of the examples of folk songs in Southeast Asia. Now, so, do you have the idea na? It's a good topic, right? Knowing na yung mga upbeat song na inaakala natin pang bata, eh may mga tinatago palang deep meanings and messages. So, I think we should treasure folk songs kasi ito yung para mga kanta na nagre-represent sa mga bansa natin. So, for our activity, I will group you into five. Five groups. Each group will choose one country that they need to represent and from that country, choose one song and perform it in front of the class. To be more specific, it should be a folk song since ang topic natin is folk song. Now, I will give you time to practice. So, go on. Okay, all groups are done performing, right? So, yes. Very good class. Very good. Now, Yes, ngayon may mga ID na kayo kung ano ang folk songs and na-perform nyo pa to in front of the class. So, very good. You really did a great job. Now, to sum it all, our topic for today is folk song. Now, folk song is like the representative song of each country. And ito yung mga kanta na we think na it's like it's pambata lang. Pambata lang ng mga kanta but then again, it keeps a lot of meaning and messages pala. So, a mga folk song is like typical lang na mga kanta na same melody and same lyrics. So, paulit-ulit lang siya. Yun yung mga folk song. But, we need to treasure it kasi nga, yun yung parang nagre-represent sa mga bansa natin na mga kanta. Now, gets nyo talaga kung anong folk song, right? You already have the idea kung ano meron sa Southeast Asia and kung ano yung ilan sa mga folk songs na gawa nila. Now, for your assignment, 
I want you to find time to search about other countries in Southeast Asia and list down some ideas about their background history in music and what is their famous folk song. And you need to include all the elements of music that can be found in that song. Um, so the format will be Arial A4 and the size is 12. The deadline will be on December 22. So, I think it's time na. Makaubos ng oras natin. I hope na may natutunan talaga kayo. So, goodbye class!